Ad Ranking. Keyword targeted ads are positioned based on a rank number that Google calculates every time a search is performed. An ad's rank number is determined by multiplying the keyword CPC bid by the quality score. The higher your rank number, the higher the position of your ad on the page. Recall that a keyword's quality score is determined by a number of factors, including the relevance of keywords and ad text to your landing page. Quality score is included in this equation as a reward. If you achieve a high quality score by creating relevant and successful ads, you are rewarded with a lower cost per click. In this example, you will see how the rank number, position and actual cost per click charge are calculated. Here are three advertisers running ads on the same keyword. Each ad has a different cost per click bid and quality score. Please note that the quality score listed here is only for illustrative purposes. This number is not within your account. Google calculates a rank number by multiplying the CPC bid by the quality score. Advertiser A has the highest rank number, 0.72. This means they get position number one. Next, Google calculates how much to charge each advertiser for a click. The cost per click is the minimum amount needed to maintain a rank number higher than the next lower ad. This is one cent more than the amount that would result in a rank number that would cause the ad to appear in the next lower position. So for advertiser A, Google divides advertiser B's rank number, 0.65, by A's quality score, 1.8. The result is the CPC that would cause advertiser A's ad to appear in advertiser B's position, 36 cents. To appear above that position, Google adds one cent to this amount. This results in an actual cost per click of 37 cents. For advertiser B, Google divides advertiser C's rank number by B's quality score, one. This equals 38 cents the amount that would cause advertiser B's ad to appear in advertiser C's position. To appear above that position, Google adds one cent to this amount. This yields 39 cents. Notice that advertiser A is paying less than advertiser B, even though they are in a higher position. This happened because advertiser A has a higher quality score. Finally, we have advertiser C. Since there is no other ad appearing below C's ad, Google simply charges C the minimum bid for that keyword based on its quality score. If your keyword has a low quality score, Google sets a minimum bid needed for your keyword to enter the auction and trigger ads. If your CPC bid is less than the minimum bid, your keyword will be made inactive. To reactivate the keyword, you'll either need to raise your CPC minimum bid or optimise your campaign to raise its quality. As shown in the previous example, the higher your quality score, the lower the cost you'll pay per click. Now you'll see how Google calculates CPC for a keyword with a low quality score. Here is the same scenario, except in this auction, the quality score of advertiser C has dropped to 0.5. Recall that a low quality score requires that a minimum bid be met before the keyword can participate in the auction. In this case, advertiser C's minimum bid is 20. Because the rank number of advertiser C has also dropped, the actual CPC of advertiser B is lowered. To determine the position in which your ads are likely to appear, you can use the traffic estimator tool. To get to it, click the tools link under the campaign management tab. The information provided in this tool is only an estimate and may not match the actual performance of your ad.